Hello guys and welcome to London. So guys, we are going for the event now. It's raining, it's ugly, but if we have an Uber here, so let's go. So here we go guys, and uh, we are on a train finally to go to the Brooklyn, to, the, to go to the Mercedes World for SMSR World Finals. We met Zal on the way. <laughs> so we're coming together and my girlfriend probably gonna pee herself in the train, right? <laughs> There's no toilets anywhere and we drank like 50,000 liters of water and yeah, talk to you soon. Nothing to show so far from home, don't be a breeze, no wrong for me. Nothing to show so far from home, don't be a breeze, no wrong for me. Nothing to show so far from home, don't be a breeze, no wrong for me. For me, for me, for me. Don't be a breeze, no wrong for me. There, Darwin Dammer is doing the team game here. Actually, he's going to go up the inside. Darwin Dammer is going to lead up in towards turn number one. Oh, Velocity wide. James around the outside here. Johnny on the inside to try and go up to third position. A little bit of Argy Bargy there, but James is up to second here. Great start by the Veloce driver. Johnny trying to hang around the outside of Isaac here. Isaac doing the defensive job. Yep, very, very good start there. The VP guys on the back foot already. That is going to be Isaac trying to get himself. He's going toe to toe with Jardier at the moment. Both of them being very respectable. There's just slight fender rubbing, but nothing major at Isaac's the moment. Still there. Isaac's still got there. the inside line for the next corner, but Jardier's going to try and hang it around the outside here. That will give him the inside for the next corner. Slight oversteer on the exit. Isaac still giving him room. There's They're going to be side by side, side down side. to the hairpin. Going down to the hairpin. This is where it's going to sort the men from the boys right now. VP Isaac's going to have the outside line. Jardier, it's now a six corner race between these two. Who's going to get third? They're losing so much time. You can see the challenge and then Kaki is in the lead. But we need to get back up to Jardier and Isaac. Who's going to come out in third spot? Isaac's on. Isaac has wow. up towards the Schumacher Essex and what a start from the VP drivers. He was not backing down at all and there's a little bit of contact there between Rotax and Jardier. I think it was uh, Isaac getting slightly caught up in the curb. There's also uh, Storm oh, kind of coming kind of around the outside. Yeah, he's trying to cash in on this battle as well as it's uh, James and also Darwin Dammer are pulling away at the front. Rotax oh, is all exit. over the back of uh, Jardier. Rotax has got Jardier here. Jardier maybe with a slowdown penalty, but I think it's just a really good exit up towards the chicane here. And is Jardier going to try and retaliate? You can see the Rotax goes really defensive then into the chicane. And Jardier with a little, maybe a little nudge there. And actually Rotax does hold on. Jardier, oh no, it's finally on the curb there. Jardier on the inside then towards the Coca-Cola curve. And now he's got a VP driver of Isaac to contend with here. And i tell you what, Isaac is going to be having enough of that front wing of Jardier in his rear view mirror. Yep. This is where Darwin Dammer struggles on the exit, maybe struggles on the entrance. Yeah, definitely. You'll be obviously, as you say, observing him the entire way through. It's obviously a lot, lot easier for the driver behind to watch the driver ahead than obviously the driver who was leading. But here we go, seeing uh, and try and work their way through the challenger class. And you can actually see Jardier there 
very focused, calm, looking, relaxed. He'll be looking to try and close up onto Isaac in the breaking zone here and see if that challenge of traffic will potentially come into play into that final turn. Final lap of race number one. We've got two races here, ladies and gentlemen. Nürburgring GP here. James then has eked out a nice little lead here. I think VP has settled in nicely and think, do you know what? Second and third's a decent result. Giardier not having the backup of his teammate, Leon, only in eighth position. It's kind of a bit of a stinker for him. I think a team like ACR right now, I'm going to need a one-two in Road America for any chance. Yep, almost definitely. I imagine they'll be trying to communi communicate with each other. They've got a short break between the two races, so they'll probably talk to each other there, try and work out some team tactics to get both drivers back up to the front. Obviously, Darwin, uh, the VP guys, got their strategy worked out quite nicely so far at this race. I imagine James will probably have a quick chat with Storm as well, see what they can do and trying to get Storm further up. But obviously, the more people you try to move up to the front, that's more people trying to go down. It's it's going to be hard to try and get there. It's only 10 minutes. We saw Veloce struggle in the first two qualifying rounds, but they had a week between races to get it sorted. Um, but, you know, VP uh, or ACR, you know, all of the teams here, apart from uh, VP, because VP have done so well, have only got 10 minutes to get it sorted for the next race. But we are at the end of race number one. And Veloce, James, well, he waited right till three laps to the go, and he is going to take victory here at Nürburgring. And we go green. Here we go. Jardier, then, who qualified in third, already lost his place. But James... James does take the lead here up to he's already done it already up ahead here Veloce James takes the lead down towards oh. turn number one but you can see here that Darwin Down was trying to get a nice run round the outside oh, of the race. has he got it nailed oh he has what a move a superb move what an incredible move by Darwin Dalmer Wow. It's Isaac. It's Isaac. Isaac it was in first. Isaac, sorry. Yeah. Look at Storm though. Storm's in third. Veloce are second and third right now. Giardia hanging around the outside here. But look at Leon. Leon's involved here as well. And I'll tell you what, we have got a three-way battle for the championship now. Yeah, Darwin Down has had an absolute mare of the start. He's dropped down into seventh position. It's Isaac now coming under threat from James coming down this long hill. And we're coming into a very heavy breaking zone. James on the outside, there's a little bit of contact between the two. That could be them going deep, but they both managed to slow it down. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's 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 Drivers, but Isaac there has gone very early breaks, but made an escape. Yeah, that's very, very good. Close, intense action between the drivers, uh, as we can see at the moment. Almost leading, almost leading. Almost leading. Almost leading. Going side by side with one of the Ascara boys. <laughs> and, uh, oh, Johnny, you got a slight little wiggle there. Oh, he has a oh, 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 oh. connected with one of the VP drivers. It's now in Tower. And it looks like Leon. And yes, they definitely connect each other. Oh, oh, oh Darwin Tower oh, 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 finds himself in a wall. He's now in the Challenger Cup. Oh, 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 oh. And he will win race number two for Team VP. What a race by him. And also, Veloce James will come across the line in second. Tip your hat, guys. That He's was very happy with that. From those two drivers there. In first spot will be Giardier. Never really in the picture for the race win, but does take the podium. And more importantly, Veloce Storm has backed his teammate up and finishes in fourth. <laughs> I hope that you enjoy the actual virtual racing itself and uh, find it to be fun and exhilarating because it's certainly a spectacle for us to watch on YouTube. I just feel tired. Hey guys, so we finished our races, we finished on the third place and teams. Yay! Yeah! Sorry for the vlog, it's like really terrible, no talking or anything, so yeah, sorry. <laughs> Look at her walking, she doesn't know what she's doing. She doesn't know. What's up my boy? Not much, chilling, you know. <laughs> walking through the lush green scenery in uh, London. How is your leg? It's hurting. <laughs> I'm getting old. 
Everybody's hurt. My girlfriend doesn't want to walk. Zal doesn't want to work. Uh, walk. <laughs> Nobody want to walk. And I'm an alpha, alpha leader of our group. <laughs> Still holding. <sighs> Oh, she's doing amazing, bro. Hey, Buckingham Palace! Woo. So good!